hello everybody uh, today i will uh, demonstrate you the use of uh, view form vendor form and display form i'll explain you what these type of forms are and how we use them in bmc remedy so first of all we will have a look at the uh, view form <coughs> so to create a new uh, view form you just go from where to go through from this forms right click and then we will get this option so we'll click here now uh, to create a view form you need to have a database table now for convenience for our own convenience just i have added i have created a database table here so this is a, a database table normal database table uh, which i have created in uh, database and it's an employee table so i will just save it give it a name as employee details so let me copy this okay so now uh, this table is created in the database here i will go here and again in the view form section I'll open this click on load so when i put the database table name here click on load it has loaded the fields so i will just add all of them so it depends on uh, your requirement you want to add all of them or you want to add only few then we have to designate some field as a key so let me designate this employee number as a key so this should be a unique uh, uh, unique value or a primary key in the database table uh, to designate that particular column as a key now i will say finish so my uh, view form is created so now what it has done it has created a view from my database table into the remedy system so this helps us normally to uh, create uh, or to view data from the other data sources uh, i'll explain you how for example you want to view um, database table from a different database so what we will do in the database so we will create a db link here or we will create a db view here in the database which will point to that particular table in a different database then in remedy we will create a view form for that table but here i'm just creating this on uh, the table which is which is uh, present in the existing database so here i will just save it i'll give it a name as uh, new view form yes or i will give it a name as let me give it more specific name employee details okay let me go for this and i will save it okay so now i have created a view table now similarly i can create a vendor form uh, so first of all we will create all of these forms and then i will show you how it can be displayed in the how the data is being displayed in the uh, mid tier then i will go to the vendor form now what is a vendor form vendor form is basically a form which uh, can also fetch a data from a third party source or from some other uh, data source but for this we need to have plugins which we normally call it ARDBC plugins so we need to write those plugins to fetch the data from a different data source for example if you uh, have an idea of a BMC ITSM so we have a form called server administration this server administration form basically it also fetches data from a uh, a different data source and uses this vendor it's basically a vendor form so we will use one of these plugins which are available as of now so let me use this plugin say next let me use the server info form next and then i will add only few fields here just for the just for the checking purpose normally as of now <coughs> in the developments we don't use this vendor form quite frequently but this is just for an understanding so i will say finish then i will save this one also as new vendor form so let me just copy this name then this is a vendor form now similarly we can create uh, let me place this uh, somewhere in the notepad okay let me just copy this name similarly 
uh, we can create a display only form but the display only form the purpose is different display only form as you can see in the name itself uh, it's a form which does not have a database table so ideally which means that whatever you uh, display uh, or whatever fields you add on this form they will only be visible on the front end there will be no back end or table so you cannot store anything on the display only form for example if i add a field here character field so then when i will um, uh, open this form uh, do some submission on this form uh, it will happen but the data will not be saved we will see this uh, so let me say new display form so i will save this one also okay now we will see how the, all these three forms in uh, mid tier how they look like so first of all we will see the um, view form okay so uh, now if i perform a search here in this record you will see there's a the data in the view form so we have added this into the table and now we can see this is also displayed in the pmc remedy similarly we will see data in new vendor form let me open a new vendor form if you perform a search so i will be able to see a data in the vendor form so whatever fields i have added be able to see them here similarly i will show you now a display only form let me go on display only form so you can see there is one field now here let's say i will say new request so i'll try to add something here that means some add junk value then i'll say save so now you can see it has saved but now when i will go here perform a search so it doesn't show anything because display only forms doesn't store any value on of, of its own what it is then used for it's basically used for uh, creating a gui or a front end for an any application or any remedy application where you want to basically design the front end which will be displayed to the end user where he will go click on um, provide the details or any uh, data then he click on some button then we will perform inside uh, the remedy we will perform operations based on those button clicks and we will capture that data and we will store it in some other form which will definitely be a regular form we will explain you this in uh, future videos when we will write the workflow that how the display form is being used to create a front end or a gui thank you